Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So, I was asked, I, I've been asked this by several people actually, um, two things actually, uh, to use the Crayola um, ink, uh, paint stick things. <laughs> I can't remember the name right now. The paint sticks. And if I would put my paintings up on the um, thing on YouTube, it's the community tab, which you could find, I mean, I'll put it down below, but you can find it, you know, on my thing, um, where to put my things for sale and people can make an offer because with Etsy and everything and prices and everything. So I did, I put her up. Um, you can see I clear coated her. She is gorgeous. I <laughs> love her. So she's up. If you want to make a uh, offer, you sure can. You can email me. My email's down below, knittingandthings at gmail.com uh, or, you know, whatever way you want to do it, make an offer. And just remember, though, when you make this offer that you're still going to have to pay for shipping, which can range depending on where you are, eight to nine dollars. So make sure that you uh, do that. Otherwise, if you're interested, my stuff's on Etsy. So that's all I want to, I hate... I hate saying that kind of stuff, but I wanted, I, people have been asking me, so I put it up, make me an offer, and uh, we'll go from there. So, you know, we'll see how it is. I know that money is very, very tight for people, and it's really hard to, um, you know, have extra money to spend. Okay, having said that, let me try to move this a little bit, see if you can still hear me. Okay, so I have a canvas, and I'm going to take some of my Mod Podge. I'm going to give it a shake. Just how should we do it here in Jersey? And I'm going right in. I'm not going to play around too much. I have some scrap of paper. I swear my brain is out of it. So what I'm going to do is, I kind of like the vintagey look. We're not going to do spiders and skulls and all that stuff I usually love, but we're going to make it and I'm not going to go crazy ripping either. Like, we're going to, you know, let's see, add some, ooh, yes. Ooh, spiders, I love me a spider. Hmm, I really don't want to go dark, that dark. I wonder if we do, like, this side. I'm, you know, I'm so torn because I love the scrap of paper that is either side, right? Because, like, if I want to use a part of it, like an ATC, but I want to add, you know, like another part to it. Please ignore my nails. I took them all off. My nerves are shot to shit, and I'm a mess. And then I see these three for whatever reason. Or I mean, I've had these on forever. I get the, um, I do my own, um, what are they called, gels, whatever they are. And uh, these three just were like, they went against me. So I'm just letting them breathe for a little bit, and I've been chewing them off. I've chewed, they grew a lot. Um, you wouldn't know that because I've been chewing the shit out of them. So, here we go. <laughs> Just to let you know. They look like poo, and they might look like poo for a minute, so. And I should have just, I shouldn't have chewed them. I should have just left them so I can, you can keep this on here if you want. Um, you know, the tops, it doesn't matter. But, I did. I took them off and they were nice. They were nice size. I was going to paint them black. You know, I love my nails black. We're like a really dark purple. And then I was going to do them black and then a nice purple over top of them. Anyway, um, doesn't matter. I'm sure I'll get a comment. I'm talking too fast. But uh, I, I have so much going on and uh, got some stuff back about my health. And it, it's just, um, it's just a mess. So he had the tests and did all the things and all right so I'm gonna do that one and I think I'm just gonna go like this down here easy I felt like playing and I felt like uh you know just coming on and playing around a little bit now I get the requests and I'm like all right I can do that that wouldn't uh upset me because I love I just love oh you know what maybe I'll do maybe I'll do this one instead of the I love doing art it is so healing and soothing to me and i know while i do it as you can tell i'm like blah, 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 blah. 
um, but I know when I'm doing it, it just, it calms me. It makes me so, I don't know, it's my favorite thing to do. And even though as I get older and my health gets worse, um, my hands, the mobility, the all the things, I'm just ripping these off. I'm sorry, I'm leaning back. Um, you know, I said I was going to come on and I want to get back into it and re, you know, renew myself re-establish not re-establish myself re like do it but do it more so i can get back to where i was if that makes sense i don't know but that's what i'm talking about because i just miss it so much and i just you know i i don't know i don't come to youtube as a means of money Although it does help me with medication and stuff. And I do appreciate my memberships and all my peeps um, who help me out because that helps my medicine. And that is really a big deal for me. Um, so I do appreciate all that. I really, really do. And I really want to get back to giving and talking and vlogging and, and do when I was going to record the other day, Dave and I had went out. And I was going to record, and I'm like, does anybody even want to see? <laughs> like, how boring, you know? So, I didn't, but I forget what we had went out for. I went out for my kidneys, I think, my ultrasound, and my blood, and all the things. So, um, yeah, I didn't know. Okay, so you see, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm going to. I'm going to put this on this side, which is the Muzak. Make sure I get it and throw it on the top just to kind of seal it. I'll paint over it, but, and if you don't, you know, you don't have to put it over the top. This is matte, so I'm not worried about it, but let's say you do and you're like, no, 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 no. Then you can use this as a twofer because I'm good. Oh, shit, Kel. I swear my, my, my energy today is off. Okay. I'm going to keep it like I'm not going to fuss too much, but It'll help get any bubbles out if you have any. This is a thicker paper, so I'm not worried about it. Um, but you see, and I'm not, I can, that works. Sometimes these things happen, and at the end, I'm like, I dig it. All right, so now I'm going to go in with this. So I thought, I'm going to come on here and just glue and play and do a couple things. I'm going to do this side, but I can go a little bit more down here. I'll put it down there. And then I'll go over here. Now, I wasn't going to tear and do all the things, but um, make sure I get those ends. But. I'm just going for it. <laughs> I'll put this one all the way over and do it like that and then push in. Push in real good. I can't even sing anymore. Come on, you I can't curse. Try not to curse. I think I did curse a couple times, but I do apologize. I am human and I am a grown adult and sometimes things come out. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit here just to, and yes, my brush went to the water accidentally. I shouldn't have done that, but I did. And I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, I don't know if you can see because I can't see right now. It says witches dance. Oh, I'm keeping that bad boy. That'll be out. We'll leave him go okay so then i'm gonna do down here i hope you guys had a great weekend it was the weather was nice here i think saturday if i remember correctly and then yesterday it was kind of like bleh. it was like nice but it was cloudy and gonna rain and you never knew so Yard work wasn't in these cards for us, so. Let's do it like this. And push 
it up. And I'm gonna go with that and smooth it. Anybody from the UK watching me? I don't know, probably not. But uh, schmoovy. Does that mean anything to anybody? A schmoovy? What show is that from? It's one of my daughter's favorites. She loves the uh, show. Now you can see this isn't sticking here, so I'm just going to go back in and throw it down. Sometimes the thicker ones, they take a minute to stick, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, and then I'll go in and cut it like that, and then I can always take my razor later to cut off any extras, but what I'm going to do then is take her and put her right here, right here. Okay, there. see how we're just building, building, building. I know they're like oh I want to see the I, I'm getting there I promise I'm getting there but I wanted to do a background very like easily like you know like sometimes we have scrapbook paper or we find them on sale or clearance even and we're like you know oh it's such a great price but what am I going to use it for and I know a lot of people don't like Halloween ones and I mean these are Halloween but you could see they have other things on them and they all don't have, um, I'm sorry, I have to always scrape. And a lot of them um, have different sides to them and whatnot, you know. And then I'll just save these pieces for another one because I have a lot of things I want to do. Okay. Hot diggity dog diggity. Okay, so I'm going to set this here. And I'm going to show you this. If you've been with me, you know. If you know, you know. I'm going to take a pen, pencil, whatever you have. Pick up, Betty. Can you hear me? I'm like really close. Okay. Uh, I have games today. Okay. I'm going to use a mechanical pencil with the lead in. You can use, oh, maybe I'll use my pencil over here. You can use a pencil, uh, a pen. It doesn't matter. And go in here, and I see this, and I'm like, what kind of design would I want? Um, I'm going to cut this in half, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to get my glue stick. Am I? Did it fall on the floor? Nope. My cat got up here, and I heard crash, but it didn't go anywhere. Okay. So I'm going to take my glue stick, and I'm going to go like that. And it doesn't have to be. If you don't have a glue stick, use your white school glue, Mod Podge, whatever you have, okay? And then take it. And then just lay this on here. It doesn't have to be even or any of the other things. If it bothers you all the, you know, you can cut all that off. Then I like to go in with my pencil or my pen. And I'm just going to wipe it so the rest of it doesn't stick to my hand. And this is cheap ass foam from the dollar store this isn't like you can get like real cushy it doesn't matter this is just cheap i double it up uh the thing is is you can do both sides okay so just remember that and let's do i don't know maybe i want some circles now you can draw whatever you want i've drawn faces i've written words if you write words write them backwards um i've done all the things so you can do whatever you want you could heat it with your heat gun and push something in it let me see if i can show you And these are just tips and tricks using, um, you know, things, not uncommon things because they're not, but like things where, you see how we're, oh, this has a crappy uh, star at the end. But you see, it just, it heats it and then it'll stay. It's not a big deal. Um, I'll just go in and draw some circles. And then you can go in and a little bit. If you want your circles to be like very circly, then use your template. Just want to show you some different things. 
Obviously, my glue's not dry, as you can tell. I took glue dry, or just don't be as rough as me. I have really bad problems with my hands, and I don't know if anybody out there does this as well. I hold tight, and I push hard. Like, it hurts. It hurts my hands so bad, but I do it as like a reflex or something to um, think that it helps me. I, I don't know. I'm just weird. Maybe I'm the only one that does it like that, but you would think with having hands that don't work well. You know, I just do stuff like this on days where it's like, okay, you know. But I think you're getting it. I think you're getting it. I wish I could put... I don't have... Let me see if I can do this owl part on this side real quick. See if I can get it to imprint for you. way more than you need to know but you see see how you get that imprint oh you can't see it a little bit you can so it imprinted the stamp so if you're doing an atc like or something like that i mean it's just just heat it up and then you can you know you can do all kinds of weird things anyway that's with that so i have this they're fairly dry I'm going to hit it once, and then we're going to go in. One thing about Mod Podge, it's the same with, uh, let me knock everything off. It's the same with uh, white school glue, all the things. You know, like I can see here, I put thick, right? So it's going to take a minute to dry. But it's also going to leave like a film kind of thing. You really want to make sure, you know, when people always tell me like, oh, it stayed sticky and all. And yeah, I get it. Sometimes it will. Number one, it needs to dry all the way. And number two, you got to make sure you do thin coats. You can't jack it all down and then be like wanting it to, uh, you know, not uh, lift or be sticky or any of the things. It's hard to explain, but. Now you can use paint, you don't have to use this. We're gonna use this to see. And then if my... Now you can see where I put those, the pencil things. If my uh, ink pad's not strong enough, which it very well might not be. Let's try some. Uh, just to kind of... Get it going. You can use your roly poly too if you like. But let me show you. See that? So we made a stamp. And this is Dollar Tree. And you can, like I said, you can even, you know, make it thicker for yourself. But I mean, come on now. And I can just go and push down. I don't need like certain things. Now I know that this is the um, distress ink and I don't believe it's gonna stay on here like I want it but I don't have any um I do have bright pink I wanted to try the owl I don't know I just pushed it out but let me take my brush here yeah I'm gonna get off some of that paint these which I love this you know I mean about but I think you, you know what else I could do I could use the crayons yeah so I'm just going to take this around just wanted to show you the stamp I'm 
I'm getting some of this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put the lid back on for now. And let's get into these. I could even probably use that on these. I'm going to take... Okay, doke. In my thoughts, in my thoughts. I don't know why I keep this. So these are called Quick Dry Paint Sticks 12. Now these are from Crayola, they say. I got them off Amazon. I love them. Um, and I'm going to go with some green. And what I want to do, that you can paint with these in a million ways. So you could go like this. These are permanent when they're dry. You could take your brush. Get, you know, majority of the water out. You want it wet, but not sopping. You can go in. I should just do another video on these, but and look at this. And it's paint, so it'll dry permanent. So I could put it, and you can see it's fairly opaque doing it this way. I mean, it's not, I mean, you know what I mean? It's not, uh, it's more translucent than opaque, but it still gives you a nice, watercolory feel right and pull it down this way pull it this way look how pretty so that's one way okay the next way is you can take it off of here with your damp brush and you can see it's thick i can go in and i can isolate this word you can still see the word i'm not necessarily going to go over that word right now um, but I could go here, same thing, here, I could color it on like this, and my brush is drier, so it's not very wet, so it's going to be a little darker, look at that, Isn't that great? So you see, now I can pull it down if I want. But you can see it's already kind of drying to permanent. And you know, think of these like, I don't want to put these in the same class as, um, oh God, I forget the names. I'll think of their names in a minute. Uh, ink tents, ink tents that you use, you know what I mean? They're the blocks and you paint with them and they're, they're wonderful. I have those, I have the colored pencils. Those are fantastic. This is just cheaper. It was like nine bucks for all these. Okay. So you can see I did some green. Um, so you can do all that. You can paint with it. You can take it off the brush. You can take it there. You can make a, I'll show you one last. I don't think I have any. No. I was going to say any jars, but let's say I put some water here. And what color do I want to use? Um, maybe brown. And I got my brown. They have, um, these are called quick dry paint sticks. These are just phenomenal. I love them. I'm going to go in here on that pile of water. Okay, do that, put it away, grab a small air brush, wetter, and go in. And now I have a pile of kind of like watercolor paint, but it dries permanent. Mm -hmm. And look at that. See that? How cool? I can go in and go over this. Look at that. You can still see what's under it, but it has a, uh, I don't know, it just has a really great quality to it. So, like, let's say you want to paint, like, faces or whatever, you know, you're not doing, like, what I'm doing. You can do it. And if I put more water, it would dilute it even more, okay? So, you can see, very, very, very cool. Um... 
Let's do one more color. But that's how those work, and they're they're fantastic. I don't want blue. I want to kind of keep it earthy, but I think blue might be too much. Let's try some yellow here. And you can keep it like this as well. And you can go in, look, I don't have to add any water. Look at that. Look how cool that looks. That's it. I can go here if I want. Because it's like the yellow, you know, kind of blends in with the green and it makes it cool. But you can still see the orange underneath. Kind of makes it pink, but I'm okay. It's just nature, man. I can go up here a little bit. Just adding little pops. I want to put something here and I'm not sure what color. Huh. Mm -hmm. I might go in with blue and just say it. Let's just see what it does. Eesh, I, kind of, I mean, look at that. She dark. <laughs> she's dark. Beautiful, but she's dark. Look at that. Ooh, I'm going to put her in three places. Look how dark that one is. Whoosh. Let's do real quick. Let's see if I can get some drippage going. I love drippage. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I know it's hard for you to see right now. Just one second. Look at that. Yeah, love it. Love it. Make it go this way. Down here. So it's everywhere. Okay, now I have like right here, it's a little thicker than I want it. So I'm just going to kind of scooch it around a little bit. Maybe I can add more water there to make it run. Oh, I love it. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of paper because I'm not going to waste this, of course. Look, I even had paper with me. <laughs> Look how gorgeous. Background. Get some brown. That's not going to be as gorgeous, but I'm just going to switch it. Get some blue. I got some paper so I love that always to you know do remember to put your brushes in the um, you know rinse them off whatever way you do it because remember this is permanent and I've never let this dry in my brushes so I don't know what it's gonna do might not do anything but, oh, I love how, like, the green and yellow mixed with that blue and made a, oh, I love it. I'm going to cut some of that off on the bottom. All right, so I'm going to dry it real quick so you can see it. And then um, that's our background. <laughs> and I love it. I'm not even mad at it. We're going to try one more, I'm going to try one more thing. Try to blow some of this water. If you hold your hair dryer or heat gun, you know, it helps like disperse it a little bit more. Okay. 
too much because I don't want it to. Okay. Oh, I love it. What do you guys think? That is a gorgeous background. I love it. And these are still drying. So I would dab them. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I will dab them. But I kind of like them. Because I put a grill over it. So, you know, or something to that effect. I haven't quite decided what I want to do over it. But, I mean, I love it. I love it. I'm going to do one last thing. I'm going to take some white paint. I want to do two things, but I'm only going to, I'm going to try this just to show you. I'm going to take some white paint and I'm, or gesso, whatever you have, or whatever color you have. And I'm going to go very lightly over this. I know it's mixing with the, uh, what's it called? Distress ink. I'm okay. And I'm okay with that. Okay, so you can see I have it. Kind of like a square. I'm gonna go over it one more time, especially over like that. Okay. Then let's do it here. And I'm just gonna touch it on. Give it a little rub. I'm not gonna rub it hard, hard. I don't want everything to happen. It can just make it an impression. And you see how we, and you can see like I had more paint here and you can always just kind of rub it off. But I like just how it breaks up. I need three different kind of things. So I'm gonna try, let's see if I can get this bird to show up. Go this way. Hmm, kinda. Now I could have went over just, oh, now listen, I could have went over um, just the, bird or the circles or whatever I didn't need to do the whole thing I did uh if I don't like that which I can't quite decide I can always go back in and kind of like lift it off where I don't like it so if I go like this maybe I don't like this and then I can go in with my paper towel and just kind of dab it off just so it makes you know it's white but it's not exactly what I wanted and then, oh, where can I put him? Let's do him here. I'll put him there. I will right, we'll push it. Let's see what happens. Oh, you can barely see him. But he's there. Yep. Can you see? He's there. That's why I like that. I'm not going to take that off because I think I need one more little white spot because I think that you know you can kind of see it and I don't know what I'm going to do on here maybe it'll peep through I don't know you never know I never know rather you might know you might have better uh idea you know what I mean Be better ways to plan I don't I just go for it do what I love and then you know go at the end and say oh okay I want to do this I see this all right this one I'm just going to paint the little boops and let's do it here right on the owl and you see you get like little little parts it's a little up here a little bit here that's all that's all i don't want to do too much more because like i said i don't want to re-wet everything i know looks bizarre right now i could see this is why I don't I, okay I could um, spray these a little bit but if you look I want you to look at the texture can you see the texture in them how gorgeous like all that texture is Ugh, so I, I'm not gonna touch it I'm gonna leave it but that's it that's my mixed media background with the Crayola um, paint sticks. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. Like I said, it's still a little wet. I'm okay with that. Um, but they will not lift. That is it. And once it's completely dry, I will come back and 
decide what I'm going to do, um, which maybe I'll do another video. I don't know. It might be adding something to the mixed media. But for today, this is it. And if you're interested in the Crayola um, crayons from Amazon, I'll link them down below. And let me know what you guys think of this. I, I kind of love it. <laughs> And like I said, it's paper that, you know, I usually only use at Halloween. So, but like I said, I love right here, which is dance. Let's see. Let's see if real quick if it's good. This is why Kelly. Yeah, see, I can't get it off. <laughs> and I'm scrubbing. Yeah. So. Happy, happy, happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. Please leave me a thumbs up if you're interested in supporting me and the channel. I have links down below where you can just donate a couple bucks or join my membership. Also, don't forget on my um, community tab is the painting. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.